얼마 전 유튜브의 한 채널에는 중국과 한국의 전투식량에 대한 영상이 올라왔습니다. 이 영상들은 각각 200만 회가 훌쩍 넘는 조회수를 기록하기도 했는데요. 서구의 네티즌들은 특히 익숙하지 않은 동양의 전투식량이 가진 독특한 메뉴에 대하여 관심을 나타냈습니다. 오늘은 이 중국과 한국의 전투식량 비교 영상을 소개해 드리려고 합니다. This is a Chinese People's Liberation Army Type 13 Individual Soldiers Self-Heating Meal. It weighs one pound 12.8 ounces, or 815 grams, and it contains 1,170 hydrates. Tear notches on the side. Let's give it a look. Again, it's very straightforward. Two 320 gram mains already built in to these flameless ration heaters that have a heating element on both sides with a heat sleeve, which seems pretty handy. It's also adding to the weight. Here's your beverage base, and here's a pickled vegetable. And this is a water measuring pack for your flameless ration heater. You fill it up to the line, gives a perfect measurement, and then a spoon and napkin. This thing seems pretty versatile. You could split it up into two smaller meals or have one large 320 times 2 plus a 20 gram pickled vegetable, that's a 660 gram meal. That's pretty heavy. So let's get these FRHs going. Oh yeah, listen to that. And these take about 15 minutes to heat up. All right, so we're about six or seven minutes in. And this is 12 minutes. Okay, it's been just over 15 minutes. These are ready. Food truck, but then like rotting, breaking down, you know, like liquefying vegetables. steaming hot pile of rot. Hold on, I'm not even going to touch that with this spoon. Okay. Okay, so it's a pork chow mein with some kind of green vegetable, shreds of carrot. Oh, the smell is just wafting up. It's even worse now. This isn't my first rodeo with this. I've, I've done this exact type 13. There's, there's, there is something wrong with every single one of these. This is the same thing. I, I ran into this just under two weeks ago. This is actually the third time I've run into a PLA ration with this issue. It has greens in it. Look at this. Even the pork is green. Look at this. Maybe this is like chlorophyll that leaches off or something. And perhaps it is. Look at that pork. And the smell is foul. Look yeah, how there's like green in the noodles. And this very well could be like a chlorophyll leaching onto the, the noodles from those greens. But I've eaten this before and I got sick from this ration. I got footage of me eating this. I don't want to take even one bite. This is unbelievable. There's something wrong with all of these. And Not sure what the Republic of Korea Armed Forces ration immediate type for battle, menu two. Now weighing in at two pounds, yet containing only 1,224 calories, this ration may seem 
a bit bulky for its overall calorie content, but it does have a built-in flameless ration heater that's pull string activated, and all the components are 100% ready to eat, so that is a plus. It has uh, basic instructions on the back for activation of the flameless ration heater and preparation of the components. All right, so right off the bat here, this is our main course and the flameless ration heater. The main is down in the bottom there. Wow, check that out. Look at the double-sided heating element. And we got a sport, a little paper tray. Those are little chocolate candies. So this is a 100 gram almond cake. And then here is stir fried kimchi. And this is a little 70 gram pack of sausages and a marinade sauce, or maybe like a barbecue sauce. And then a 70 gram pack of beans and beef. That's a pretty good variety. The only thing I could say is missing is maybe a drink. Definitely ready by this point. Wow. That heated everything up. It's like molten hot. All right, so let's put this little paper tray inside the main part of this tray. Nice. So then, the main course, everything is piping hot. Do that. Wow, that's gonna be a little bit too hot to eat right away. Actually, before this cools off, the chocolate for what I was intending it for. The almond cake is more like a large cookie. Look at that. The way it is, it's not like a regular cake. It's very dry and crumbly and airy. Hmm, that just has a very subtle almond smell. A little bit of shortening, maybe a little bit of vanilla. So these, they're just M&Ms. Now it's chocolate paste. Hopefully this works, because this is what I've read that these guys do. I'll take this and put it on this as like a, a frosting. We'll see how well it works. Look at that. Chocolate frosting with M&M shellac, you know, candy coating. Well, it is pretty fancy, I'll say that. I think a piece of chocolate just flew into the ham fried rice. Not bad. All right, so then, actually, this is cooled off, probably just enough to where, yeah, it's still steaming hot. Wow, that's very bland. On its own, there's not even any smokiness to the ham. Not much going on here. So, let's add some of the, the marinated sausage. Look at that. It smells like it has a nice barbecue sauce to it. Oh yeah. That looks awesome. I'm going to have a bite of this with a little bit of the fried rice. Hmm. That sausage has a quality texture. It doesn't seem like that soft, almost mushy to the bite Vienna sausage. And the sauce, it's pretty much like a barbecue sauce with soy. Hmm. Very savory. It's a lightly sweet, almost like a tomato ketchup kind of flavor to it. 
but more complex than that. 유튜버는 중국과 한국의 전투식량을 각각 리뷰하면서 한국 전투식량의 맛에 매료된 듯 보였는데요. 어떤 음식이나 제품이든 한국에서 만든 것은 퀄리티에 대해 믿을 수 있다는 점을 다시 한번 확인할 수 있는 영상이었습니다.